it's game show. I'm not even. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm making this video because I want to talk about uh, why Prefecture Pikes are one of my favorite units in the game. Why I think they're so amazing at all levels. So I'm going to show you how these guys are one of, if not the single best hero killer in the game. How you can very easily and quickly learn to use them to top the charts in your hero kills, in your matches. Uh, even if your hero is still extremely out leveled by your enemy. So you can basically summarize your playstyle with Prefecture Pikes in three words. Charge and retreat. That is the center of all your gameplay. That's because Prefecture Pikes have the highest charge damage in the game. And we're not talking by a little bit. They outclass every other charge by miles. Uh, even a fully fledged cavalry charge. Uh, they're a little bit better for units sometimes. But it just doesn't have <laughs> nearly the decimating power on heroes. Uh, and that's where I think 100% of its usefulness is going to come from in game. So before we actually get into that part and how to use them in game. Let's take a quick look at the unit tree and which veteran C line you should focus on. Firstly, these are a silver tier unit. Which is amazing considering how much work they put in. And it's a very quick unit to grind towards. If you look, you see it's only one unit skill and uh, pike militia that need to be unlocked first. And just on a side note, pike militia are also a really efficient unit, so it's a good unit to have anyways. But second, out of all the silver tier units, pike militia costs the least leadership out of all of them at only 160. Uh, and that's going to allow you to fill out your build nicely for all your matches. You can put a lot of extra stuff in there that you wouldn't be able to do with, with any other silver unit. But finally, if we take a look at the veterancy lines, it should be obvious which line is better to go down after everything I've already said about their charge skill. But let's just look anyways. Yeah. One look at all those charge power increases, and I think <laughs> you get why the bottom line is better. Now, once we actually start taking them into the battle, they're a great unit for clearing the point with your team. Um, when a lot of those enemy heroes get all benched up trying to defend, you can rack up a ton of kills really quickly. Uh, but a lot of times when you charge in the point, you might not have the chance to pull them back out, even if you do take the point. Um, so you want to try and find a little bit more use out of them before you send them in for that kind of suicide charge. Even if it means you rack up a bunch of kills, you don't want to just throw this unit away right away on one charge. So for me, I find that the best way of doing that is to try and use the element of surprise as much as you can. Let the enemy think that they've got the advantage by placing your pike somewhere that they won't be seen until they're already in the charge and it's already too late. A great spot for that is near the top of a ramp on a siege tower like you're seeing in this clip. Uh, but there's you can be pretty creative with it and there's lots of places that you can use this pretty easily. For example, if you're defending, you can place your pikes directly beside an entrance that you know your enemy is coming towards and just be ready to charge as soon as they come through that door. This is not a unit that performs well in sustained combat, like at all, almost uh, pretty much every other silver tier unit is just going to slaughter these pretty quickly um, if you just leave them engaged and, and they're not braced around a corner or something. Now, you don't have to be completely discouraged from using them on units. Like I said, they can do well holding position at the edge of an entrance or around a corner, um, preferably supported by more tanky melee troops, but they won't do quite the same jobs that halberds were for that, and they won't toss around shields the same way, uh, and they're just too easy to just be lost in a flash um, to put too much focus into that. Instead, focus on cycling out a few charges into vulnerable heroes, try to bait some free kills to help clear out dense areas, and then for your final push with them, let other melee troops engage first. You don't want to be on the front line. You want to support the front line. So use your hero to engage the enemy units, try and wear them out, and you'll almost always find a great opportunity to drop just a super charge in to finish it all off before the enemy's support can arrive and get the next wave in. Now, of course, this is going to work the same offensively or defensively. Uh, it's just a matter of getting your timing, uh, feel for exactly when you want to charge and when you want to retreat. Um, taking a look, this is a clip of defending a point with a well-timed charge. Uh, the point is all but completely clear. they got five enemy heroes that are uncontested. They think they've got the cap for free. And just 
in the blink of an eye, all five of them eat a charge to the back, and it gives my team all the time for a whole new wave of reinforcements, and they have to try another full push from scratch to take the rest of it now. And as much fun as it is getting a bunch of hero kills, it's really being able to remember that you're playing a glass cannon unit and being able to see where you're going to get the most value out of your charge. That's the skill you're going to want to focus on learning when you start playing them. Because even though I lose an entire unit after that single push, the value of being able to give your team time to reset their units completely makes it worth it to let them die. You completely change the momentum of the entire match in one go, and then you capitalize on your bigger leadership pool to support with all your other units for the rest of the match. Alright, that's all I've got for you guys today on this unit, but leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about Prefecture Pikes being the best PvP unit, uh, what's the most kills you've gotten in a single charge, or if you think you can play another unit to be just as good as these are. And let's see if we can all learn something from each other here. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you next time.